Hello folks and welcome to a let's look at of The Binding of Isaac. I know a lot of people have done this already, a lot of other let's players. Uh, I first heard about the game actually from a let's player Northern Lion who has done, I think he has something like 138 videos of Isaac at this point. Um, you know, as of recording this video. I highly recommend checking him out. He's a fantastic commentator. Uh, really, really enjoy his Let's Plays. But regardless, The Binding of Isaac. I'll show you a little bit of what this game's about in case you haven't seen it. Uh, it's a game on Steam uh, made by the same creators of Super Meat Boy. Binding of Isaac. You play as little cute Isaac here. Whee. And you kill things with your tears. Uh, it's one of those twin stick shooters, so you can see you use Wasty to move, arrow keys to attack, shift or E will drop a bomb, excuse me, and the space bar uses your special item, which we don't actually have. Um, I'm actually significantly farther on this game on my laptop, but that's because I've uh, had a few slow weekends at work where I've been able to kind of just play the game. Um, you know, I'm recording on my PC. Those tinted rocks generally give you nice things. Uh, lock chest, though, really isn't that great. X-ray vision will give me the secret room. Uh, let's open it anyway. Two hearts, completely worthless. So, a waste of a key. <laughs> I hate these things! Uh, that room above us there, you see with the little sense sign, is the shop. Um, it's generally not a good idea to go into the shop unless you have at least 15 cents. Um, 15 cents is the price of your average, well, your, your good item in the shop. Otherwise, they sell things like pills or keys or bombs. Uh, damn, I wish I had another bomb. But regardless, we'll go fight a boss. And we'll see how I do. I'm probably going to get, like, the Headless Horseman because, you know, I'm... Let's playing, or something that's incredibly hard. No, Duke of Flies. He's fairly easy. Just spits flies out at you. Focus your fire on him. Every once in a while, you just gotta clear up the uh, the other flies there. Ew. But the game's art style. It. it Probably it's one of its biggest selling points. The art style to it is just fantastic. And, uh, you know, it's ultimately a very silly game, but but to be honest with you, there's a lot of awesome... I don't know, subtleties on it? It is extremely addicting. I know some of you have probably watched me play this uh, in between matches of League of Legends where we're waiting for stuff to set up or anything. Um, yeah, it's one of those games you could pick up, play for a little while, uh, Mom's Underwear is just going to increase my range. Really not that useful, but what are you going to do? Better than nothing. Nothing here. Uh, the floors are always randomly generated, so as are the monsters, as are the items, so you really, you'll never really know what you're going to get. Uh, there's a couple items that are guaranteed, um, on certain boss fights. Uh, you know, such as the Horseman of the Apocalypse will give you a uh, cube of meat, which you can upgrade uh, as you get more of them into a little Super Meat Boy and stuff like that. But it's really not a strategy. Oh god! How did I not get hit there? The game is actually significantly easier with a bad computer. <laughs> um. Unfortunately, my laptop can run it without dropping any frames, and my PC runs it. What was that? The bean? Raw liver, HP... I don't remember raw liver ever. Well, we can see what's in the shop, because it's connected here. Wiggle one... Oh, uh, the map is a good item to take. We'll see if we can't get ourselves the map. Roid Rage. Speed and range up. Unfortunately, my damage is still so low that uh, unless I get some damage up soon, I could be in a lot of trouble. One of my, uh... Oh, God, stupid. Part of the difficulty in speed, then, too, is getting used to your new speed 
<laughs> uh, and these little things just run away from you. Not too challenging. Ah, uh, we'll go fight the boss. Monstro. Normal Monstro. Ho 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 ho! Thanks to some high speed, Monstro shouldn't be too too challenging. I I imagine I should only get hit once, if any at all. And probably that one time will be just a stupid mistake. Like that almost was. Ho ho! But a lot of it is kind of a reminiscent of some of your old um, 90 style era video gaming where there's a lot of learning in the game. You start learning boss patterns. HP up. It's almost always worth it to take the HP ups. Versus um, Isaac will get uh, later on, I believe you have to beat Mom's Heart. Uh, Isaac will get what's called the D6, uh, six-sided dice, and it'll allow you to re-roll items. Um, those HP ups, though, become very, very useful later on. Unfortunately, we don't have a key. So, what we'll do... Let's buy the map. I would... <sighs> yeah, we can't do too much else. The map is very useful, though, of just giving you... It only gives you a layout of the floor, so it doesn't tell you where stuff is. But, uh, you have to combine that with the compass. Oh god, bad room. Bad room did not have a lot of damage in. I've really got to get a damage up soon. Or at least a tears up. Uh, difference is, tears up will increase your rate of fire. Damage up, obviously, will increase how much damage each little tear does. Money, unfortunately, because we don't have any access to the shop, because we don't have a key, that money is somewhat useless. Oh! God, stupid. And that does reset the monster health. So, and you start getting used to different tactics on how to approach each room and... Ooh, a key. These little guys home in after you, and their their AI is really, really good. In a room like this, it's hard to really... But, I mean, you can see that guy looking to try and trap me. Thankfully, these are the slow ones. Uh, when their eyes are open, they run much faster. And thankfully, I also have speed. Dead. And a pill. Pills are random effects, and they're randomly generated each time, so this white-red will not be the same next time. Oh, I got retard pills. All they are is they, they don't do anything, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I got pills and ate them are just stupid pills. And... Dude are dead. But... And there's a, there's a, I know there's a number of Let's Players who have kind of taken a look at this game, but I figured I'd clue my audience in on it. I won't do this as a full Let's Play. Uh, this will probably be the only video on it. As there's already some great, great commentators out there who have done this. Uh, oh, God. Oh, walked right into it. Herp a derp. Just a very tight room. It's tight. So generally, if you only have one key, and y you know you're on the floor, do you go with shop or item room? I would say almost always go with the shop first. Mom's pad there. It's not worth the 15 cents. It just makes enemies run away from you. But. You know, I was able to get another key here. So it wasn't a total waste of using that key. Basically, I wasted three cents. Which really isn't that big of a deal. Oh my god. Oop. 
One plus one free. And uh, once you kill them once, they it's much easier to bring them into the oozy state again. Ah, mini boss. Gluttony. Gluttony will open up his belly and fire blood at you. Or whatever the hell that is. So he does give you... Oh god! He does give you a little warning there that uh, he's about to kaboom. And we get a spirit heart out of it. The blue spirit hearts there are just temporary. Once you use them, you lose them. These turrets are big pain in the ass enemies. Ultimately, just not very fun enemies. Uh, bomb for a key is worth it. And the rosary. Faith up gives me three spirit hearts. I'm not sure if it does anything else besides that, to be honest with you, but... I'll certainly take three spirit hearts. Bum, bum, bum. Who do we get this time? Chubb! Oh, come on. And he can eat bombs, and it does a good amount of damage. And because I have so many bombs, and because I don't need to really go looking for secret rooms... Oh, come on! You should have eaten that. Still hurt him a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. Come on. Eat it! What the hell? There you go. Nom-bomb. Oh, God. Take my tears! So as you can see, this is based very closely on the biblical story of the Binding of Isaac. Or not. Uh, the mark for two... Yeah, that'll be worth it. The mark will give us increased damage. And we definitely need... Uh, what you see there, though, with that minus two hearts there... That's two permanent hearts that you give up just so that you can have the increased damage. So it, it's a major sacrifice, hence the deal with the devil. That, you know, you're going to ultimate... Oh, God, ow, ow, oh, stuck! Theoretically, I should be able to beat Mom. I generally can beat her most of the time. Uh, Mom's heart... Actually, I find Mom's heart easier than Mom. And Satan, I very, very rarely beat. I can generally get to his third form. Uh, let's keep exploring. So we've got plenty of money, too, so it's not even worth uh, blowing up the rocks for them. Sometimes that can be worth it if, you know, if I was at 14 cents. Um, you know, it, it could be worth it because that could be the... Oh, God, the difference between an item. So, as you can see, I'm not very good at this game, but I, I do love it. Leap! Oh, I hate leaping dudes. The leaping dudes are my bane. This is actually not a bad room for them. This is a fairly easy room for them, but when it's, like, really congested and there's, like, other shit firing at you, they, they, oh, leapers. Oh, God, oh. And they take away a full heart. Well, I think when they land on you with a leap, it takes away a full heart. Uh, Halo of Flies. So it gives me a little protection. Not a horrible item.
Ooh. Oh, eh, well, there it is. Halo of Flies just protected me. And little wormy dudes aren't too bad. These ones uh, actually don't look like these are the charging ones. You're not a char- Oh, he is a charger. So if you get into their line of sight, a uh, straight line, they'll they'll charge you. I, I hate these things. Little dust bunny duders. And they just run away from you and call flies. Alright, grab another bomb there. Oh, g okay, good. These are the firing ones. Had those been the charging ones, that could have been fun. Alright, and the shop is there. Oh, God, it's Envy. So sometimes when you open up the shop, you don't get the shop. You get Envy. Envy, I'm sorry, Greed. That's not Envy. It's Greed. And you lose money when you get hit. But he does generally drop a lot of money. Oh, my God. And a 50... Oh, that's not bad at all. 50% off sale. Uh, Steam sale, as the item is. Uh, gives you all of uh, half discount items at the item shop which obviously can be oh god so I've pretty much lost all my spirit hearts I really need more damage alright down in here oh Oh! Blow self up. GG. Just stand in line of fire. GG. You don't actually have to go to all the floors. Um, oh my god. I am just because I'm stupid right now and taking a lot of damage. Je I'm mainly looking for items and such. Uh, not really good items, but just bombs, keys, and I'm hoping for some pills that might give me a damage up. That's the arcade there where you can gamble. Um, I don't really like doing that too much, to be honest with you, as you... I, I very rarely find it worth the reward. Alright, let's go kill our boss. Theoretically, this should not be a problem. Who is our boss? Not the Headless Horseman. Fistula! Fistula is a pain. But not bad. A couple spirit hearts. I'll save them right now. So yeah, Fistula breaks apart into little pieces. And you want to try and focus down the little pieces. And then he blows up into little silkwormy dude. Luckily, it looks like we did pretty well here of just trapping some of them. Alright. Die, little wormy. Die, little wormy. Hey, didn't get hit at all on this fight. Now that I say that, I'm gonna get killed by this guy, I bet. <laughs> And apparently the boss music is still going. Wooden Spoon, speed up. Not the upgrade I needed. The depths. I always love the look of Isaac by the end of it. He just, pretty much every game you play, Isaac is just going to look like a mess by the end of your game. And obviously, uh, as you may have been able to figure out, if you step on the red, gooey blood stuff, it, you take damage. Ah, boss room already. Die. Die. Boy. I'm probably going to take some really dumb damage and just hate myself for it. Oh. Nice. 
and again. Oh ho ho ho! No. Nope. Chalk testa. Ah! Oh! Outsmarted. It can sometimes be worth, even though the tinted rocks are generally what gives you stuff, if it's a one for one trade, you've got nothing to lose by blowing up the rock. And sometimes there can be something in it. Oh god, I hate these guys too. <sighs> the, the, the head dudes. They just. Ugh. Oh, the pain's in my butt. They, they do the little head thingies that just. Hey! Go away. Go away! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ran into it. Ah, trapped in. I'll take you and you. Uh, we've got plenty of bombs and keys. I'll say it's worth it. I'm still hoping to get some pills. Oh, a nickel. Two bombs. Yeah, I'd say that was a good trade. I can't believe I haven't gotten really a spacebar item yet. That's what I really need. Good spacebar item. Hey, little flies coming in handy again. Too many bombs. I'll pick up the half heart. Nope. Back. <laughs> Look like a retarded demon. Open and take. Alright, moving on. Oh god, room of four leapers! Oh god. And if you think it looks easy, that this isn't that bad, give it a shot! <laughs> a hell of a lot harder than you think. Check out the shop. Book of Sin. Uh, the shop was really kind of crappy. I don't even remember what the Book of Sin does. I'll pick it up. We've got so much money. What do you do? Gave me a heart. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think the Book of Sin drops uh, a heart, a pill, or a key, or something. Hello. Hang on. Oh, sorry. My mother text messaging me. Saying that she made it back from Pittsburgh. I was visiting my sister. Blow you up. Kaboom! Take. Mom's heal. Range up. Still kind of worthless. Three cents. Still kind of worthless. We really need damage. Uh, alright, this is a greed room. Oh god, I... Okay. Not greed, uh, wrath, I believe is... Oh, and those middle turret things, you can't... They will continue to fire until everything in the room is dead. So this is rooms where leapers are, like, real bitches. Oh my god. I'm just getting dominated. Because you have so much... You, oh, like, what human can operate this quickly? Unfortunately, my, uh... 
my reflexes aren't nearly what it takes to get out of that room unscathed. Monstro's Tooth. Pretty much worthless. Actually, I don't even remember what Monstro's Tooth does. So, that'll be fun. Please damage. Ten bombs. Definitely worth it, because we're going to do this. Uh, you would have to fight three waves of enemies in that, normally. But for ten bombs... Of course I missed! Oh, man. Alright, let's get you... You also don't have to worry about items despawning, which is very nice. You kidding me? <laughs> Tired of playing. All right. Let's uh, let's hope that we get some good damage up from this fight. Oh, this is an easy monstro, actually. There's a. Let's see what. Monstrous Tooth the Oh god, almost got hit there. There we go. Oh, it gives me another monstro that just got freaking destroyed. Oh, that was worth it. So if you can get him into this pattern, he's pretty easy. Until he decides to break it, and then... Oh! I wasn't even paying attention, I was watching little fly duders. Should never get hit on Monstro. With my damage being so stinking low. Come on. Oh! How do you walk back into it? What are you, stupid, Kevin? Jeez, what a horrible health up, at least. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the depths, too. This- Oh, my God! The depths, too, is where our mother resides. And really, our last chance... Well, not our last chance, but one of our last chances to have a good chance at damage-up items. If we get none from here... We are getting a number of these spirit hearts, though, which is awesome. Tarot card. Judgment. Judgment gives us one of everything, I believe. Uh, a bomb, a key, a heart, and something else, I think. Uh, worth two. Well, we only have, we have five. What the hell? And we got two keys from it. Look at that. Perfect. No, oh, go away. Uh. Seriously, greed. You know what? Screw you, dude. Don't even care. I'm done with you. Eh! Go, Monstro! That, that was it? That was all you do? That, that, that was it? You don't fight for me or anything? You just... Uh, God damn. Let's see... 
Item room. Oh! I'm so concentrating on trying to dodge these little crap heads that... Attack fly. Well, our last real hope is the shop. <laughs> Go away! Go away! Boom. Come on! The Bible. Well, we're going to be really cheap then. Oh, the hermit takes us to the secret room, I believe. We're going to be really cheap. Because, folks, the Bible can be very overpowering. Uh, let us... Oh, I used the wrong card. I want to use Judgment. Oh, that... That's ju I'm thinking Justice. Judgment is actually really good. Judgment will be perfect. Judgment gives us a ladder. I was thinking Justice as the card. Alright. That's a... You know, understandable mistake. Um, take. All right, here's where the boring part comes in, folks. As I gamble away all the money. I'm basically looking for hearts. I don't think it actually matters which skull you choose. I don't I I think it Oh, a dot figures. A dollar bill is uh 99 cents and it it maxes out your cent meter. I really need hearts, though. Shut up, Greed. Go away. Oh, no! Go away! Key. I'll take that. Oh! Pugers. Yeah. Yeah. Pukers aren't so bad. Uh, yeah, we'll take this chest. We're looking for hearts. Tarot card. Hierophant. Two spirit hearts. Uh, the good news is our fight with mom is going to be insanely simple. Uh, we're pretty much guaranteed to win. Uh, no, we, we are guaranteed to win. No matter what, you will at least... Oh my god! You will at least see... Uh, oh my god! Uh, the womb, where things start to pick up in difficulty very much. Please, just stand right in that, Togaf. That, that's, that's genius. Just stand right friggin' in it. Alright. We didn't really get any hearts, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do is just blow crap up. We'll check this item shot, or this gauntlet room from just a chest. It's not worth it. Woo! Pills. Speed. Oh no, we don't know what these are. Bad trip. So it actually hurt me. Eat that. Three cents. If you play that blood bank enough, there's a chance of you getting a uh, blood bag, which gives you um, two hearts, two permanent hearts. Check this out. So if you use the Bible on mom, it's an automatic kill.
which is nice. Now we're in the womb. The womb is where the difficulty on the game ramps up significantly. Oh, and in that last drop there, we got the small rock from... Oh! Shit. Uh, the small rock, which... In oh! Ah, uh, the small rock, which ups your damage slightly. <laughs> Find Eve Isaac All-Star. MLG Pro. The Empress. Hmm. Nah, we'll, we won't use that. The shovel allows you to skip a floor. Wow, this is convenient. Do, do, do. Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Uh. Uh. Not the boss room. Crying my little bloody tears of bloodiness. I believe the Empress gives me uh, the Whore of Babylon, which should be increased damage and speed. See, the damn turret always pops up when you don't need it to. And everything in the womb does one full heart of damage. I can't remember if I mentioned that or not. <sighs> Go Halo of Flies! Helpful, but well, it is what it is. Boss room. Yeah, we'll do it. There's no shopper item room in uh, in the womb, so yeah, let's do the boss. Skellix is not that bad at all. We'll give ourselves the horror. Oh no, that was the wrong key. What a horrible night, Davicor. We want the horror of Babylon. Oh. Where I say that he's not that hard and then get hit. He's actually a very, very easy boss. Um, I... I can't believe this. I don't think I've ever done so bad. Again, Skull X! He's like the easiest boss in this game. Oh my god! Three hits? If Skull X kills me, um, I'm... Quitting Binding of Isaac forever. He really is the easiest boss in this game. Oh, son of a blinger dinger. Alright. And we now also have to recharge our Bible. Oh, god damn you, greed. You can go to the arcade. And try and win some hearts. Not keys. Come on, heart me! Nice! Two hearts, exactly what we needed. Go away. Come on, heart me! Damn it. I won't play all 81 cents. This was bad trip. Bad trip can be worth keeping. 
Um, that trip will restore you to full hit points if it would kill you. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. You're dead. You're dead, and you're dead. Nice. Oh, and they're just retard pills. Damn it. Oh god, the eye. I hate the eyes. You can likely see why I hate the eyes so much. Larry Juniors. Not too bad. So, I believe that the Bible works on Mom's heart as well. So you will get to see, in this run, um, me going to hell. Whether or not I actually beat hell is very unlikely. Ah, uh, brain's still alive. I'll use the key. Kill my doppelganger. Just check here. Yes, boss room. Same exact room, actually. Oh, God, not paying attention. Okay, unfortunately, our Bible still needs one more room. And this is a bad room! Alright, our Bible is charged. Let us return quick to the casino just to refill our hit points as much as we can. And we will go kill Mom. And you'll see me die against Satan. It, well, you'll see me try to get to Satan. And likely fail against him. Because I never beat Satan. Eat it! Oh! Actually, this might be the first time of me beating Mama. No, it's not the first time. But, Satan didn't open up for it. Not a big deal. You'll see the end. The nail. <laughs> well, folks, that's a little look at the Binding of Isaac. I do hope you enjoyed it. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in to the other LPs. Thanks for watching, folks.